Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, week three of the spring summer 2015 season at the Ice Sports Forum in Brandon, Florida. It should be an exciting matchup here. Green Hornets taking on the Red Army. Red Army looking to get 3 0 on the season. Green Hornets looking to try to make three clubs 2 and 1 at the end of round one after the Yellow Jackets beat the Grey Wolves 5 2 in the first game. Again, Green Horn is looking to try to get to two and one so that the Red Army drop to two and one and that three teams compete for two and one. This is Andy Townsend here alongside me and my co-partner, Clive Telsey. Clive, what kind of exciting game should we have on hand today? Oh yeah, again, Andy, you know, you have a strong set for the Green Hornets and for them to actually win and take it all the way, at least in this third, third game in the first round. That would be something. I mean, I won't lie, it would be definitely, uh, a big challenge, but nevertheless, a big one for them too. You know, you got the likes of Tom Finley, Dave Garrick, uh, Bill Whitlock, Omar Chikwon, of course, you know, and some of these other players, Marty Washburn, you know, they have a legitimate chance. They need to just work everything in power right now. Um, they'll have an opportunity to beat the Red Army team. But then on the flip side, of course, you know, <coughs> You have the, the main guys here, you know, Jim Thomas. Jim Thomas for the red team, he's the one carrying most of the workload anyways. Should we expect more from him? Oh yeah, definitely, Andy. The way Jim Thomas has been playing so far this season, he continues to amaze. He never ceases to amaze the over 50 hockey league. There's always some kind of trick shots that he always comes up with and he makes the things happen. You know, it could be anyone's game, but of course with Jim Thomas at hand, Red Army almost guaranteed a victory. But again, I can't wait. This is an opportunity, an exciting game at that. You know, two teams with great competition at hand. We'll see what uh, both teams have to offer here. And with that, that'll conclude the pre-game report. And we will have more stuff to you shortly at face-off. But when we return, the Green Hornets of the Red Army will go at it for the face-off. And face off begins, Will Burge, this one gets back over to Rock Hill. Rock Hill looks for the likes of Finley, this one now intercepted. Walker deflected off a Chaquan. Back around the other way from Tommy, this is now Roberge. Becker looking for Thomas. Sets off the other way, this one back around and here comes Chaquan. Into the slot, he'll fire the shot, just deflected the other way. Took a whole lot, could have taken a, a little bit more time on the shot, you know, Chikwon just took it. He didn't even take a lot of time, he just fired up for the shot. He could have came in with a deep move and could have found the first score for them. What the likes right now is Jim Thomas and Oma Chikwon to see which team will win. Field, looks for Thomas, just off of his reach and now back over to Gorman. And this one's cleared out and the keeper signals for the icing call. Yeah, so far right now, Andy, one opportunity and that was for the Green Hornets at the moment. And if Omar Chaquan could have taken a little bit more time with the puck, that could have been a real chance. This is Liebler now going to take the face off against the likes of the Green Hornet man at centre, Jim Panice. And the shot has been taken there. Larry Rapport trying to make it happen. Now back over to Liebler with Falbo. We'll fire the shot and it is saved by Rosengold. This shot now back over to Becker. We'll fire it. This one now saved again by Rosengard. Red Army really trying to get themselves in position here. They want to strike first, but they're still trying to figure out how to get it past Rosengard. Face-off's been taken. This one now over to Washburn. 
Stabfeld looking for the shot, intercepted by Becker. No, just out of his reach. This one back over to Liebler. And Stabfeld trying to hang on, but he goes for a little round, ring around the rosy ride. That's been a long time since I've heard that. I've never heard of someone um, explaining a, a thing like that, of a ring around the rosy. If this is a children's fairy tale. What's wrong with you, Andy? I don't know. It was just the first thing I thought in mind, Clive. Intercepted by Liebler. Oh, and Liebler gets knocked off the pot. Great tackle there. Yeah, Steve Gorman, very lucky the referees were not on target. This is quick here. And he's got lots of room to work with. And Finley will strip it loose. This one comes back around to Walker. Chiquan trying to make the move, and he does. Gets off to Thomas. Now back over to field. Looks for Thomas. Just out of his reach, and this one gets back the other way. Now over to Garrick, working off the field field. Finds Chiquan. We'll fire the shot again, just to the left. Cloyd, why aren't we seeing Chiquan take it himself? I do not know, but he's just giving up opportunities now. Yeah, very unusual for him Chiquan at this moment. You know, he has the opportunities. And referee called a very delayed offsides there. Yeah, these referees need to just be a little bit better, you know, paying more attention there. Face off now will be Jim Thomas and the likes of Omar Chakorn. Puck is fired. This one caught firing back the other way. Rishi trying to still make the puck alive. Back over to Finley. It's to Rock Hill. Sets up to Garrick. Knocked away by Walker. And now Thomas fires the shot. It's in. Very lucky bounce there for the Red Army and they just get everything right position and Jim Thomas was there to take a nice shot. And with that the Green Hornets will fall and they're now in an early hole. Down 1-0, Red Army capitalized with 8.42 in the opening period. the balls now looking for Liebler. Chacon with the puck trying to take it himself. Stripped loose by Becker. Robert's trying to stay alive and, he, and tripping and falling was Larry Liebler and Robert is probably going to get booked. And of course that's what the referees do. They're not going to have any foolery around in this game and so the 52 ref is going to book Robert for a yellow card, a 25 to go. This one big for the Red Army. And of course the Red Army right now can capitalize and make this a 2 0 lead if they can just put all the right places in at the right time. Shot fired by Greg Bell, now back over to Becker. Looking to set up the other way and this one's going to slide back the other direction. Rapport with a lot of time. Finds Becker. Back to Rapport. It's back to Bell. Over to Rapport. From Leibler, now back over to Phil Field. Back to Leibler, working off a Chacorn. And Chacorn strips it loose and he's off the other way. This is Tom Finley. In the deep start, looking to fire around, shot, knocked away. Trying to figure that one out. It was Jim Thomas. And of course, Pete Dominici trying to figure out what the, who scored first for the Red Army, and that was Jim Thomas, of course. We have Angelo Pontello as our. Uh, Guy on standby. And we'll have more updates to you shortly. 35 seconds remaining in Roberts' tripping call. This one off to Thomas. Madalena trying to get to the puck. Stripped loose by Whitlock. Thomas trying to make sure everyone's on sides. Fine, Becker.
Gorman trying to get this one cleared out. Stop it quick girl. Becker. Set up. Not off of Thomas' sticking out over to Whitlock. And we are now at even strength. Roberts has served his penalty. Madalena held up by the pot. This is Tommy. Still with the puck in his hand. Off the balls now from Tommy. Back over to Gorman. Knocked away by Becker. And now it's an open gym. Tommy spins around, still trying to keep puck play alive. Triple covered by Green Hornet. Back over to Whitlock the other way. And of course, great defensive effort there by the Green Hornets, even if it does take three people to stop Jim Thomas that time. They did a good job in knocking him off the puck. Puck back over to Stadfield. Back to Liebler. And he shot just over the reach, and now back over to Quicko. Sets to Liebler. Finds Ricci on the left side, looking for a real chance. Pass off a Rosengard, knocked away. Great defensive effort by the Green Hornets, and they're off the other way. This was the Liebler. Strip loose at Chikorn, real chance. Stuff the fires, and it's a save by the man, the myth, the legend, Lonnie Herman. And of course, Lonnie Herman with his first action today. Expect him to do a little bit more of that. As long as he doesn't get on a one-on-one -on -one position with just himself and Omar Chikorn. This is Chaquan and Labla on the face-off. Back to Garrick. Shot off for Finley, this one back over to Rapport. Finley looking for the setup back over to Rock Hill. Intended for Garrick, now over to Chaquan, real chance! Shot just fired too high. Liebler. Open pass to Ricci. Looking for an open chance to Becker. Intercepted by Rock Hill. Back over to Ricci. Real opportunity here. Becker. Fires the shot deflected away by Chiquan and knocks him off the puck. Good defensive effort there by Chiquan. If he keeps it up, he'll have a better day coming up. To Bell. Chaquan strips this one and knocks it into his own bench. And of course, you can tell Omar Chaquan is on fire today. He wants to make a big statement here in this game. Despite their team being down 1 0, it is anyone's game at this point. So we'll see how it all plays out. Short taking this one back over to Washburn. Taken by Thomas. Looking for Phil Field. Comes back around just past Quicko. It's a skate race between Walker and Whitlock. Lost control of the puck back over to Quicko. Off the boards from Falbo. And now it's back to Gorman. Lips this one high, back over to Quick Curl. This is failed. From Tommy's to foul ball. Big chance! And Rosengard knocks this one high, out of the ring. Yeah, just looking at how many shots have been taken high. Let's see if we can capitalize on that. Oh yeah, look at all those puck marks there. You know, it's been, it happens a whole lot of times and it continues to, especially when the Lightning practice. You can take a look at all those puck marks. And that wall has been taking quite a beating all those years. Fuck off the balls from Rock Hill, gets past Quicko. This one out to Herman. Set up over to Walker. Chukorn, real chance. Sits up back around, taking shot, this one knocked around by Herman. 
Quick curl off to Madalena. Pushed away by Wasper and this one over to Shaquan. Whitlock. Back to Liebler. Madalena trying to get this one cleared out, he does. Again, nice opportunity there, they just have to keep the play alive. That's all they can do at this point. Off the ball, this one back over to Rapport. Off of Ricci. Deflected the other way back over to Finley. Finds Garrett. Sets a nice pass to Chiquan. Back over to Washburn with the one-timer shot knocked away. Finley. Gorman trying to figure this one out. Takes the shot, bouncing puck back over to the Red Army. Position change, not the best thing right now in the Green Hornets' favor. Becker. Back to Gorman. Set up now by Liebler. Gorman off the balls, this is Ricci. Ricci with the shot, knocked away by the keeper. Finley. Stopped by Liebler. Back over to Ricci off the boards. This is Rapport fires the shot deflected the wrong way. Shot fired again. Gorman almost scored on his own net there. That yeah, would have been real unfortunate and of course nobody would like that. Shaquan trying to work around Greg Bell. It's got Finley. We're going to set it the other way. Looking for Finley for the finish. Just couldn't make it off the left side. Unbelievable Clive. And that's another big opportunity for the Green Hornets thanks to an angle that just bounced off the wrong way. Now from field, this is Liebler. Big opportunity with only Rock Hill back. Nice move up for Rock Hill. Look at the finish. Takes the shot. Slides just to the right. Rosengard was very lucky there. Liebler had his man beat. Back over to Quick Hill. Fires the shot just left of the net. Phil Fear looking for the finish. Liebler looking to set up now from Garrett. This one will slide all the way back from set of ice. 22 seconds remain. It's Jeff Quicker. Field. Finds it up with Jim Thomas on the left side. Takes a shot just left of Rosengold. And Field will hold on to the puck. This one now to Pernice. Four seconds to go. And Pernice taking a long delay shot there. And that's how the first period is going to end. One near Red Army lead, and this is going to be a tighter game than we thought, Floyd. Yeah, Green Hornets have every opportunity in the book here to try to take advantage, but we will see how the rest of this game plays out. First intermission here at the Ice Sports Forum. Again, Red Army with the lead 1 0, and we will return for the second in period face off to you shortly. We'll take a quick break. Second period just about to begin. Jim Panis, Jim Thomas on the face off back over to Greg Bell. Looking for Becker. Taken by Thomas. Big chance on the right side. Back over to Becker. Fires the shot. And knocked away. And this one's back over to Rock Hill. Robbers. Thomas. Back to Bell. Deflected off of Whitlock now. Becker with a big chance over to Thomas. Fires the shot, knocked away by Robert. Bell. Now back over to Whitlock. Big opportunity here on the left side. Oh, it's a shot and it's in. Whitlock and the Green Hornets tired here quickly in the first minute of the second period. Big chance there. And Whitlock just showed us how he was able to beat the man, the myth, the legend, Lonnie Herman at that time. And just like that, folks, we have a tied game on our hands. And for Bill Whitlock, that's just his third goal of the season. And he can make a bigger impact than we thought. Gorman. And Field strips it loose. Nice tackle off of Gorman. Big opportunity for Liebler. Fires a shot deflected by Rosengard and it's saved. Oh, Clive, the Red Army have everything going right now in their arsenal. They're just needing to figure out how to retake this lead. It's all going to depend on how the Red Army want to figure out their players and how their strategy is going right now. They got the 
they got the lineup right now to do it. They just need to figure out how to work together and uh, make the job done. Finley. Off of Leibler. This is Bell. Back over to Chikorn. Now off to Gorman. Fires the shot and it's a glove hand saved by Herman. Over to Garrick, knocked away by Walker. Back to Chikorn. Looks for the setup. Back over to Washburn. Bouncing puck around. Herman trying to finish with it. And it is saved by Lonnie Herman as Phil Field trying to knock players out of their minds. And now it can suddenly get real intense. You know, you have to watch out what you're doing at this point. It could go either way. Back to Quick Hill. Off the balls, this is Gorman. Setting up to Chikorn. Back over to Garrick, fires the shot. Kicked away by Herman Finley, the finish now. Garrick on the backhand shot. Knocked away from Quick Hill. This is foul ball. Looks for Field. Working off of Gorman. Field again. Looking to keep the play alive. This one back over to Quicko. Firing shot bounced away by Chikorn now over to Quicko. To Liebler. Finley. Flips this one high. Big opportunity here. But Walker takes it and intercepts it. Working off of Chikorn. Back to Gorman. Off the board. This is Talibla. Over the middle. Fires the shot deflected off of Rosengard. And this puck gets dumped out. Herman signals for the icing call. And that is going to give the Green Hornets a chance to change their lineup. With 9.08 to go in the second. Right now, big opportunity here. Red Army just have everything in motion. It's just. They need to figure out how to work with this team. Right now you've got the likes of Jim Becker and Jim Thomas in there, so it shouldn't be as bad. But defenders Greg Bell and Larry Rapport just need to be prepared at all times. Becker to Rapport. The shot fired and Rosengard makes another save. Back the other way, this is to Becker. Whitlock. Back over to Rock Hill. Intercepted by Thomas now from Becker. Back to Thomas. Real chance. Sets up to Madalena. Can't get to the puck. Oh, how unfortunate, Cloyd. Yeah, big opportunity there. Rock Hill with his uh, signature slide. And Thomas was able to get the puck away, but Madalena, if he would have had a hold on it, it would have been nothing but a nice shot on net against Rosengard. From Stadfield back to Roberge, taken away by Ricci. Finds Becker. Will fire the shot, kicked away by Rosengard. Back to Rapport. Sets up the other way for Becker, looking for the one-time shot. Now from Becker off the boards to Thomas. Fires the shot. Sklop hand saved by Rosengard. And another opportunity for the Red Army to score and this Green Hornet defense is keeping it alive here. Real exciting. Chaquan and Ricci on the face off. This one's to Finley. Paul trying to control the puck. Back over from Thomas. This is to Ricci. 
Tommy's trying to hold on to it. Now back over to Garrick. Garrick over the middle. Shot knocked around the other way from Washburn. Back to Chipwon. Looking for the setup shot. From Ricci. Deflected high by Washburn. Now to Chipwon. Real chance. Taken away by Phil Field. Looking for Tommy's. Back to Finley. This is Greg Bell. For Tommy's. And he'll find an open Larry Rapport on the left side. Sets up to Ricci. Big chance. And knocked away by Steve Gorman. Again, that's the fourth opportunity for the Red Army here, Andy, that they should be capitalizing on, but they're just not getting the uh, desired result that they want. Failed in the deep slot. Defended well by Finley. And Finley getting this short flip high. And Dave Garrett just knocks around Greg Bell. No call though, referees keep the play on. Chick one into the Red Army zone. Big chance. Fires the shot deflected by Quicko. That's the third time, Claude, that Chiquan is taking the outside shots. Are we seeing a new strategy in him? Yeah, again, very unlikely right now the setup by Chiquan at the moment. You know, we've seen, we've expected to, we expect him to try to take things going and to continue to go down on into the net to possibly score on a finished shot, but he's just taking the outside shots. So a new approach right now which is costing them opportunities to score. Rocky! Jim Panis and Liebler on the face-off. And this goes now to foul ball. Scott Liebler, only one defender back. Rock Hill strips it loose, but Liebler still stays alive with the pot. Top play, Liebler trying to fire the shot, and it is saved by Rosengard. Rosengard continuing to amaze everyone here today in this game. But apparently when he was filling in for the Grey Wolves earlier, it just, the bad bounces were just getting to him. Whitlock trying to get to the pot. Whitlock into the Red Army end. Looking for the setup. Now back over to Becker. Knocked away by Rock Hill. Big chance. For fire the shot kicked away by Herman. Trying to fall on it. And this one is saved by Lonnie Herman. And he gets the job done once more here. Five and a half minutes remaining right now. And Green Hornets again now have their chance to try to take the lead for the first time this game. We'll see how things play out for them. Chick one and Tommy's on the face off. This one now off to Finley. Finley will knock this one in. Back over to Shaquan. To Garrick. Set up the Finley one time shot. Herman knocks it away. Now back over to Becker. Gorman keeping it in play for the Green Hornets, but now taking it away is Walker. Looking for Tommy's. From Washburn, shot. And this one knocked away. Here comes Shaquan. Big opportunity here. Real chance, big move, fires the shot, saved by Lonnie Herman, the man, the myth, the legend. Just shut down arguably one of the greatest finesse players of all time. And there was you go, Claude, that was his first opportunity for Chaquan on the finesse. And he just came down and broke it hard. Yeah, Lonnie Herman that time, he's getting a whole lot better, you know, as, as the seasons go on. So you have to just continue to expect those kind of saves. But he knows almost exactly where Chaquan is going at this point. Around over to field. Sets up to Thomas. Looking for Ricci for the finish. Sets back up the other way. 
Washburn. Intercepted by Tommies. Off the boards to Ricci. Setting back up the other way is Gorman. Shoots it right into Phil Field. Shot taken. Washburn gets it off the boards. Big opportunity here for Chiquan to capitalize. Round two. Takes the shot and it's in. Omar Chiquan seeks redemption at the time and the Green Hornets will finally take the lead with 3.33 to go in the second. Yeah, Omar Chiquan after getting burned by Herman on the first shot when he had the big opportunity, he knew he had to make sure the shot went past Herman and into the net and that time there was nothing Herman could do except basically defend as best as he could because where Chiquan was heading with the puck, it was going to be an obvious goal. Pernice and Leibler on the face-off now from Rapport back over to Bell. <laughs> Leibler now back over to Becker. Sets it back over to Leibler looking for the finishing shot and it's knocked away by Rosengard. And Falbo looking to try to tie the game up but Rosengard still hangs on to the puck. Big defensive save there and of course for Rosengard, he's having the game of his life right now. Only giving up one goal so far, heading into the last three minutes of the second period. Rosengard continuing to amaze. You know, that's the way of Mark Rosengard. He makes sure he is ready to go and he's going to make sure the play is happening. What kill. He's passed just a little out of reach to Stadfeld and it's all the way back over to Herman for the save. Greenhorn is now making a lineup change, as do the Red Army. And Herman now trying to adjust, just make sure everything is on tight with, with his skates at the moment. And of course, the way Lonnie Herman has been playing right now, you know, even though only two goals have been given up, you have to give credit to this man. He's making the job done. And it's not very easy these days to score on Herman. And here comes Jim Becker skating just past Washburn. Big chance, fires the shot. And it's saved by Rosengard again. Tommyson Chaquan on the face-off now from Phil Field. Taken away by Chaquan. He's got Garrett. Back over to Quick Curl. Off the board, looking for Phil Field. Taken away by Chaquan instead. Or Gorman. Madalena with the puck. Taken by Tommy's. Looking for his shot. Fires gets it past Gorman. And Gorman will get this one cleared out. Herman signals for the icing call. No, he's going to wave it off. He's going to get the pass off to Walker. Back over to Tommy. Tommy's working around Gorman. Big opportunity, knocked away. This one now off to Chiquan. Finds a wide open top Finley on the right side. Big chance off a quick curl. Fires it in! It's in! Top Finley! Slams the door shut in Lonnie Herman's face with that shot. And the Green Hornets extend the lead to 3-1. Now this is another thing that of course nobody is seeing. But Tom Finley. How about the, se the past few seasons he's been having so far. Just breakout seasons. And especially of course in the USA Nationals tournament. He had a big tournament there. And now it just only continues on for this team. Puck off to Quick Curl. Deflected off of Chiquan. Back to Rock here. Looking for Chiquan. Strip loose and taken away by Tommy. Now back over to Ricci. Shot fired. To Becker. Puck back the other way. Walker, looking for Becker. 
Back into the green one and in. It's Rosengard feeds it off to Robert. Trying to get this one cleared out. Quicko stops it. And he'll find an open pass out to Becker. Back to Ricci. It's for Walker. Shot fired, saved by Rosengard. Liebler and Pernice on the face off. This one back over just out of Rapaz's reach. And we'll skate back for the puck. Finds field. From Rapaz back over to Whitlock. Whitlock shot. Backfires. Now back over to Liebler. Spins around. Looking for field. Intercepted by Whitlock. From Greg Bell. Now taken away by Whitlock again. Back around to Liebler. Big opportunity one-on-one -on -one against Gorman. Looking for the big shot. Real chance. Fires through Rosengard, knocks it away. Just well defensed by the Green Hornets. But that's how the second period is going to end. 3-1 Green Hornet lead. They just have to continue doing their best they can, Claude. Yeah, at this point, Red Army in a do-or-die situation. They need to somehow come back. Trying to score two goals here, otherwise the Green Hornets are going to have a surprising two points waiting for them at the end of this 12 minutes. Would you stop the British accent, please? Right now, we'll... Green Hornets surprisingly have just been doing well so far, you know. Red Army are doing everything they can, but at the same time... I don't know, Andy. Red Army right now, you know, even though they have the opportunities and the chances they've had at the moment, you know, Green Hornets have been capitalizing everywhere. And then, of course, Tom Finley's outside shot. Really a deflator here for this Red Army team. Second intermission, 3-1. Green Hornets looking to try to go 2-1, giving the Red Army their first loss. We'll see how things go. This is Over 50 Hockey on the Pontello Broadcasting Network. Third and final period, Jim Thomas and Oma Chikorn on the face off. This one goes backwards. Washburn. Back over to Gorman. Intercepted by Walker. But Thomas, still alive with the puck, gets it around Washburn. And knocked around the other way, and Thomas. Shot taken in the wrong direction. And Thomas is going to be put into the box for a yellow card. Looks like the referees are having none of it. Well, you know, Lumberjack referee number 52. You know with the way his, um, his uh, body stature, I mean, I would kind of assume anyways that he would take, he would take none of uh, anything going on. Just one of the toughest referees. He doesn't tolerate with Baloney. He doesn't tolerate with Tom Fullery. And he's trying to make sure there's nothing wrong with Thomas. Of course, just really not what the Red Army have been looking for. Thomas, of course, two minutes for just delay of game and not very, not very smart. And now for the Green Hornets, they have a power play opportunity and can ice this game if they play their cards right. Finley makes a move around Becker. Back over to Chikorn. We'll fire, fire up the shot and it's saved by Herman. 58 seconds remain in Thomas's penalty. 10.34 remains in the game. 
three one green hornets right now they're you can't quite tell the green hornets that they need to put it in cruise control and especially with a team like the red army there's nothing there's no such thing and of course the way they're built right now there is definitely no such thing as trying to put this team into cruise control it's doing everything you can to get them back in position Rock Hill now from Stadfeld back to Rock Hill. <laughs> this one back around. Falbo kicks it through. Rosengard almost let that one go in. Oh my goodness. Clive, I'm telling you, Rosengard with the way sometimes he just takes those shots it's very surprising that he even does the position that he's in right now it's i don't know how you do it and with that it's going to be an offsides call whitlock was most definitely offside at the call and again how that happens i don't even know Shot taken, back over the other way. This one will slide all the way back over to Rosengard. Tommy's big opportunity. Why is the shot knocked away by Wasburn? And Gorman will get this one cleared out. Herman signal for the icing call. Centric one on the face of this one back over to Gorman, sets up to Finley. Looking back the other way now, back over to Thomas. Big opportunity. Deflected by Gorman. Back to Trick Warm. Gorman looking to get this one cleared out, gets around Bell, and this one's going to slide all the way back. Herman signaling for the icing call. And just sits right on the red line, no icing call there. Unbelievable, Clive. That has got to be pure genius there by the Green Hornets. It's just a shot taken, slides just enough, and the balls just give enough curve where it just holds the puck literally right at that red line. Couldn't script it up any better. Finley trying to get this one cleared out back over to Becker. Puck bouncing around this one back over to Bell. Sets up to Becker in the deep slot with the puck. Bouncing puck back over to Bell. Fires the shot just a little too high, deflected out of Chikwam. Looking for Garrett back over the other way. This one's over to Tommy. Stripped loose by Chikwam. Finley off the glass. This one back over to Rapport. Setting up to Tommy. It's just out of his reach. Deflected off a field. Back over to Finley. Gets around Thomas. Finds an open Whitlock. Whitlock back over to Chaquan. Stripped loose and high by Thomas. And referee is going to have none of it. He's going to figure out. Cross checking is the call. I beg your pardon, Bill Field getting booked for a yellow card on interference. Yeah, not exactly sure how we saw interference there from Bill Field, but again, these referees apparently see something that we don't. Quick Back to foul ball. Pass Roberge. <coughs> Rock Hill. Easy 
Jeff Staffeld, knocked away by Jeff Quicko. And Garrick will pass this one all the way from his own end, looking for Rock Hill. To Walker. Back to Roberts off the balls. Back passes it to Gorman. And this one's gonna be cleared out. And Pernice will get this one locked up by the Red Army in. 30 seconds remaining, Fields interference call. Puck firing backwards, this one's over to Washburn. And Gorman trying to clear this one in. Back over to Walker. And this one gets cleared out into the Green Hornet zone. Plays officially at even strength. Washburn now finds an open Finley. This one back over to Tommy's. It's a move and he knocks Washburn off the puck. There's got to be an interference call. No call by the referee this time. Unbelievable. Yeah, there should have been more of an interference call if they're not exactly sure why it wasn't there, you know. Clearly Washburn knocked his man off the puck. He knocked Thomas off the puck. And now the referee wants an now Thomas wants an explanation from the referees. This is Finley. Sets up to the fall. Back over to Rosengold. This is Ricci. Back over to Thomas. Taken away by Finley off the boards. Bell. Thomas. Becker. Bouncing puck off of Rosengold. Back over to Finley. This shot will be taken now back around over to the call. This one out to Garrick. Knocked off by Becker. Washburn finds an offer to Chiquon. Big opportunity here. Looking for his shot, set up, takes the shot, bounced away by Herman. Chick form. <laughs> and this shot fired, this one gets all the way up to Phil Field, only Robert's back. And now here comes Liebler looking to take the shot. Fires around the other way, hits the post. And Chikorn will take this one away. Three and a half minutes remain. This one over to Whitlock. Whitlock in the deep slot. He slips and falls and here comes Liebler with the puck. Looking for the short opportunity. Kill gets this one cleared out. Herman signaling for Rising Paul. And here we are with the timeout called by the Red Army. 2.47 remain. 
what to expect here. But Red Army at this point, they've saved a lot of time off, but they're still well alive in this one. They just have to get a foot, they have to get something going here. And the Green Hornets defense are getting a lot tired. So we'll see what happens there. 247 remain, we'll take a quick break here. 3-1 Green Hornet lead. Lee Blood to take the face off against Panis. Becca fires the shot knocked away by Rosengard. To Quicko. Becca with the shot, Rosengard knocks it away. Back the other way. And there's an empty net, Washburn can end all hopes here. And this puck goes all the way back. This is Walker. And this slides over to Whitlock. Takes a shot, knocked away. And now it's out to Liebler. Big chance. Back over to Ricci. Fires the shot, kicked away by Rosengold. And it's saved by Rosengold. Over to Ricci, looking for the finish. Back to Rapal. And here comes Shaquan. Trying to take this one himself. Only two defenders back. And it's stripped loose by Shaquan. Now back over to Liebler. Looking for Rapal, has got him. And Rapal, don't know why he just dropped up the puck like that. Shot fire, take the wave. Over to Roberge. This was such a quam. Fires a shot deflected again by Rapport. Greenhorn is looking to finish. And he takes it away from Madalena. Rosengard. Looking to take the shot away. Bouncing puck now from Garrick. This is Chaquan looking to finish. Still with the puck. Will fire the shot. Chaquan knocks it in. And that's gonna do it. Green Hornets will advance to two and one. And with that, Chacon's empty net shot, there's a real good chance now that all his stats are going to be wiped out. Not as much anyways, because that would have only been his second goal of the season. Washburn back over to Roberge. Referee gone the way a little bit. Looking for an open Finley. Just out of his reach. And they'll skate this one around. But pretty much nothing else you can do. Short taken knocked away by Rosengard. That's gonna do it. Final score. Green Horn is four, Red Army one. And it is official. We will have three teams at 2 and 1 and one team at 0 and 3 at the end of the first round how about this game well the green hornets they've always had the potential to step up and make big plays and of course the main man for them is Omar Chikwam you know getting the job done making the setup plays and then of course Tom Finley adding the finishing touches with Whitlock should be an exciting season for them meanwhile for the red army just a step back but they're going to have to regroup and uh, see what they're going to come up with next and on that note, this has been another production of the Pontello Broadcasting Network. And of course, we invite you all to come back next week as the Green Hornets take on the Grey Wolves, Red Army take on the Yellow Jackets. 
but it will be exciting either way. Green Hornets coming away with a nice victory and they join the pack but we'll see how the rest of the season goes on. With the quarter season in the books. For Claude Tervzi, I'm Andy Townsend saying so long, good night and we hope everyone has a blessed evening. Take care everyone.